This is a safe tack design. It has a few optional features which I'll be happy to point out to you. This particular customer elected to have black sheets installed as opposed to the conventional or standard white. They also went with the mirror, the stainless no sheet on the front. I really like that. It has a lot of character to the trailer. Uh, they did a, add a 12 volt battery feature which powers the interior lights and of course that battery will recharge while driving off the tow vehicle as long as you have an auxiliary circuit installed. Most vehicles do not have that standard. You have to install the fuse. Uh, the window inside the living quarters of the dressing area was lowered down. This way the customer can add overhead cabinets uh, on top of the window and of course a nice base cabinet below inside if they choose to do that at a later date. Uh, they also added uh, aluminum wheels as opposed to the conventional powder coated steel wheel. This is one sharp ride. I believe that it's seven six tall as opposed to the standard seven. Yeah, I did an air conditioner on top. I'll show you that in a moment. Of course all your windows will fold independent of the bars. Those will fold separate. These windows will slide as well um, if you choose to do so. I can't do it one hand. And they'll lock in the down or the open position while traveling. We always do a running board step. Normally standard on at least the dress side. That way if you're into camping you've got a place to sit some things and uh, just a convenient step. Of course you can step up also and feed your horses with a drop down window. You'll notice this is a factory built dress door. This is not a conventional style camper door. And the fact that we manufacture this door here, it truly sounds and feels like a door when you open and close it. We do the least a latch. open your door and hold it in the open position. And you'll also be able to fold this window up and down with the door even open. You have a walkthrough door from the horse area to the dressing room as standard. That is included. Rubber stall mat in the floor. I like using a rubber stall mat as opposed to carpet. Uh, carpet really does not hold up long at all. It looks nice when it's new and then in about six months it's really soiled and dirty and there's not anything you can do about it. With a rubber mat you can uh, you could easily hose your dressing room out and you could also uh, pull the mats out if you want. There's a 2 by 8 pressure treated pine floor up underneath here. And you'll notice here this picture window that we lowered down for the customer so that there's room for a nice set of overhead cabinets if they choose to add that in the future. All Double D trailers um, enclosed. The roof is insulated from front to rear, including your dressing area. And these folks went ahead and added the air conditioning. Uh, they also upgraded to the 110 volt electrical system, which includes your breaker box, receptacle, and then of course a 25 foot cord with an adapter, which allows you to reduce from uh, 30 amp down to a regular plug-in style. And you can see the interior lights operate off of your rocker switch here. We use a bar and head divider. That way it really reduces stress when your horses makes everything open so that your guys can see through and of course you can get airflow through there. Uh, custom made padding standard on all double D trailers. Uh, notice how thick these pads are. They're really nice. We do make those by hand here at the factory. 
sturdy aluminum divider. It's lightweight. It's easy to operate getting those in and out. If you want to lift them out for whatever reason, you could just take the pin out here. Notice that door. That's really nice. Okay, this trailer has an optional uh, feedback. And I think these are, I can't remember the cost, but they're relatively inexpensive. So if you want to add feed bags, this is what they would look like. Um, you do have a slam latch on your dividers. So those work well. And they're really tight. You don't hear any noise and rattle and vibration. It's pretty quiet riding in this trailer. All right, I'm going to walk back outside and show you how the safe tack functions. This trailer does have the safe tack design. You do have a lockable rear doors. One key fits every lock on this trailer, which is quite convenient. You have aluminum locks and stainless or galvanized hardware, so no rusting will occur. All of your doors have a, a hold back. That way you can lock those in the open position. And there's a little rubber stopper there just to give some extra cushion, keep everything nice and quiet. Plenty of tie loops. Convenient handle here, and this just swings around. Of course, you can walk around behind and lock it as well. And the advantage of this design is we have the entire rear of the trailer open and available for loading and unloading. A lot of horses don't like to load in a small door. And your safe tack solves all those problems. There's a door holder, divider holder here, so that that divider will stay in place and you can safely walk all of your horses in and safely walk all of your horses back out. Now your rear tack is quite functional. The saddle racks are adjustable in height, uh, up and down. You have bridle hangers, a light inside. You can add, uh, really customize this to do a lot of things. You can throw things in the floor. You can add more saddle racks. A lot of folks come on this wall and hang uh, pitchforks and all sorts of things. Uh, this particular trailer has the optional rumbar flooring, which I really love. You notice how smooth that is. It's a flush design. There's not a lip or anything. We do that intentionally. Of course, a rumbar floor, you have grooves in it. That way your horses will not slip. This is made of recycled tires. The big advantage to it, virtually no heat transfer from the highway, so it's really safe and comfortable for your horses. Uh, very little noise and vibration, which reduces stress. And anytime we can minimize stress, of course, we get rid of sweat. And then uh, you do not have to have a stall mat, which is absolutely wonderful if you've ever pulled a stall mat out before and tried to clean one. They're heavy, they're annoying. Rumber flooring solves all those problems. Uh, this trailer also has the safe kick wall design. Safe kick means that when your horses kick that side wall, it will absorb that impact. You probably can't see it move, but it actually does flex. It's really easy on your horse's legs, reduces the uh, risk of injury. And it's a super durable wall system as well. We use a uh, lay flat tie ring. That way a horse won't get an eye poked out. And of course the safe bump ceiling. If a horse rears up, it'll absorb the impact of your horses on your horse's head. It makes it a lot easier on your guy, reduce the risk of injury. And a wonderful for temperature control. You're white on top and on bottom. Plenty of lights in here, 
plenty of daylight coming through. Okay, this is the Safe Tag Design by Double D Trailers. You can learn more at our website at www.double D Trailers. That's the word double. Letter D is in David Trailers with an S. We are at the Double D Trailer Factory. I'm going to attempt to demonstrate to you a two-step rollout awning. I love two-step awnings. And we're going to try to do this with one hand while I hold the camera. You simply release the locking mechanism on both arms, both ends rather. By the way, that doesn't count as a step. You can't count that one. Okay, step one should be to take this pole and flip that lever to the roll down position. Step two, pull. And you just continue to pull all the way out. Okay. You just witnessed a two-step awning. We have a gas shock built in so that if rainwater ponds on top, the arm will go down and the water will run off. Now if this were a manual awning, you'd have to roll it out and then physically come to each end and lift these arms up by hand and a uh, little bit different conglomerate. Go with the two-step. Worth the extra money.